In this video I'm going to show you how to use one of the new features in Adobe Photoshop called Shake Reduction. Now most people that do own a camera or even a smartphone have taken photos before where there's just not enough light around or the subject's moving a bit too quickly for the shutter on the camera and they end up with a blurry photo. This is an example on your screen right now of one of those photos. Okay, There's just a little bit of a camera shake and you can see we've ended up with a blurry image. Now Photoshop's got a new filter that does try to fix that problem. It tries to determine how much the subject has moved and tries to move it back into place. So if you go to the filter menu, go down to sharpen and select shake reduction, we have a box that appears on our screen. Okay, and this is just going to take a moment to process. My computer is a little bit slow, but we'll just watch this little lever over here process the image and we'll start to see what Photoshop can do with this blurry image. Okay, we're nearly ready. So there we go. You can see that's really sharpened up the image. Okay, if I uncheck this preview box, it is just going to go a little bit slow for a moment. You can see the original image. And then when I check the preview box again, you can see the changes that, that has made. Now that's almost back to a really nice looking photo. You can play around with the levers over here on the right. There's a few levers here. Okay, I think it looks good how it is, but we'll just touch some of these just so you can see the kind of effects that do occur. And you can move this artifact artifact suppression up. Okay, it made it a little bit blurry if anything, so I might just move that back down roughly where it was. Smoothing, if you turn that right up, it's just going to become quite blurry. So you don't want to turn that up too much. Okay, if you turn up a little bit, we'll just smooth out the lines in your photo. It's just rendering now. Yeah, it didn't do too much, so I might leave that how it is. And the blur trace bounds, we'll just move that down so I can show you what sort of effect that has on the photo. Again, you'll just have to watch this little render bar here. It is going quite slow, but if you've got a quick computer, this should happen fairly quickly. Okay, and it's made it quite grainy. Okay, so I'll just turn those blur trace bounds just back up a little bit. Okay. So that's basically all you need to know about the new shake reduction filter in Photoshop. Okay, it's worked fairly well with this image. You can click OK when you're done. Okay. You can see it has made somewhat of a difference. I'll just flick between the original and the new one. So there's our original, quite blurry. And there's our new image. Okay, the ear still doesn't look too great, but this side of his face, the left side of the boy's face, if we undo it, see how much it's fixed that, up, fixed that up and particularly in the eyes there as well it's really sharpened them up okay so while it's not perfect there's still a bit of work to be done I think by Photoshop it can fix up your images so it's worth a shot to try and save those blurry images okay when you're done simply save it as a JPEG and you're good to go and to share that with your mates